Hey, what's up gamers obsession community? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with all our latest gaming tips and tricks. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of FPS games, improving your aim. Well, whether you're playing Call of Duty, Fortnite, or any other shooter, these tips will help you become a sharpshooter in no time. Let's get started. Improving your aim is finding the right sensitivity settings. Too high and you'll overshoot your target. Too low and you'll struggle to keep up with fast movements. Spend some time in the game settings menu and adjust your sensitivity until it feels just right. A good starting point is to lower your sensitivity and gradually increase as you get more comfortable. Remember, consistency is key, so stick with your settings once you have found your sweet spot. So go in with my settings. I run, I believe it's either a 400 or an 800 DPI on my mouse, then I counter that with, you know, my mouse my mouse sensitivity in the game. I normally run a, about a 6.1 to a 6.5, and I always keep my ADS multiplier at one, but if your mouse has a DPI button, then chances are it's gonna have DPI soft mouse software in it. So basically, we're gonna go ahead and open up full screen, and then we'll go right down here to the bottom, and mine is the, the Razer Central, so let's open that up. So on mine, it'll be under the performance tab, and and I'm running currently an 800 DPI. For most, that's going to be the standard DPI, out of the box, everything like that. What you can do is on some of these, you can actually change it. Let's say you want to do 650 DPI. Uh, 650. Okay, well, mine will only let me go to 700. But see how my mouse is moving, and then over here it gets faster. Go back over to Call of Duty, and then as you can see, so with now, if I hit that same spot on that box, we'll say we'll put this lower sensitivity so we'll leave it on that i don't know 3.5 see my mouse still counter because i'm on 800 dpi but if we go into turn it all the way up i mean how, how are you going to shoot someone with that let's say you're running oh dude i mean there's some players that can do this but for new players that are just coming into the game don't know the game you, you know you gradually work your way up so now we're going to move on to the next practicing your crosshair placement so when i first started i would run like this with my crosshair pointed down at the ground that's how i would run because that's just what felt comfortable to me so basically now i've trained myself to where i run with it probably about mid screen you know i would say upper torso to the head enemy characters or enemy players rather i mean it'll feel funny for a while but you'll get used to it have aim training tools it does go i mean the one that i use is an aim train server and it is going to be on Steam. it's going to be sorry i'm looking at it it's going to be aim labs you can go in there and you can test like your settings and stuff like that adjust them to the way you like me i run it for about 20 to 30 minutes before I even game that day. So if I just wake up in the morning, I'll jump on that and then I'll start my game. And it actually does help. I mean, there are several aim training tools that can help you improve your actual programs like Aim Lab, such as the one here, or Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer. They offer various drills designed to enhance your reflexes, precision, spend at least 15 to 20 minutes a day on those tools focusing on different aspects like tracking flick shots target switching over time you'll notice a significant improvement in your in-game performance you know i said 15 to 20 minutes me i do it for 30 minutes that's just normally my highest but i just kind of work with what i have as far as my time if i've got something going on during that day and i can only game for an hour or two then yeah i'll jump on for like 15 20 minutes and Moving in to tip four. So basically you want to learn from the pros. Watching professional players can provide valuable insights into improving your aim. Pay attention to their crosshair placement, movement, and how they handle different situations. Platforms like Twitch, YouTube are great places to find pro gameplay. Try to incorporate some of their techniques into your, your own play style. Remember, it's not just about copying them, but understanding why they do what they do. So, you know, we'll say I'm a, I'm a pro player, which I'm not far from it. <clears throat> you're watching you're watching players that do this right here i mean i never knew why they did it but i just thought that they was doing it just for the fun of it but that was oh man 
like 10 years ago, but they actually do it because when that player is coming at you, he's going to expect to look right here. And if you're down here, you're going to get your shot off before he can get his because he's going to have to look down at you. So now we are going to move on to the last tip. And it's the most important. You hear players, and I experience this a lot in multiplayer, raging. Okay, they're not getting nowhere. And I'll tell you this. When you start raging, your body gets worked up, your blood pressure gets worked up, all that stuff. Some people are real irritable when they play. This is a game. Sit back and relax. And obviously, stay focused. Maintaining a calm and focused mindset is crucial to have good aim. You know, stress impact your performance. Stay relaxed and keep your cool especially during intense moments if you find yourself getting tilted take a short break and come back with a clear mind a positive attitude and it can make a world of difference in your aim and, and your overall gameplay so just take and keep these tips in mind and there you have it folks our top five tips to improve your aim in fps games we hope you found these tips helpful if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends comment down below which tip you found the most useful or if you have any other tips don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content we'll see you in the next video happy gaming